to build only the best, and to begin to price the rest. means banning coal. Uh, so we have three coal plants left in the state and saying let's make it illegal. Let's be the first state in the country to make it illegal to burn coal in our state. Um, and then ban the practice of fracking. There are some geological formations in Western Mass where there's the potential for fracking. Let's nip at the bud before anyone even gets serious talking about it. And again, to take that leadership role to show folks like New York State and others that fracking is a bad idea and that we shouldn't continue investing in new extraction projects. Um, and then banning tar sands, which basically calls for a clean fuel standard, um, which would make it more expensive for tar sands to be part of our fuel mixture. Um, building only the best means making a clear policy that all new electricity demand in Massachusetts will be met only by the good stuff, by the best stuff, by efficiency, by conservation and renewables. These are all areas the Patrick administration has already led on. You know, we're number one in the country for efficiency, but we just need to take it a step farther and say that we're not going to allow any new fossil fuel plants or pipelines to be built or constructed, not allow any of those sunken costs to be absorbed here in Massachusetts as the IAA uh, suggests that we need to do to avoid disaster. Um, and then begin to price the rest is to, to start looking at a carbon tax. We, we know we get these other things we think we've identified are things that they can do fairly rapidly. We think establishing a carbon tax that is an area that is, is a little bit of a longer term process. But we think that the Patrick administration can accelerate that process by pulling together stakeholders to discuss and evaluate what a carbon pricing system in Massachusetts should and would look like um, so that the next legislature and the next governor are able to pick that up and run with it at the start of 2015. Um, so that is kind of what we would love to see the Patrick administration do to go above and beyond the already extraordinary leadership that they have provided. Um, uh, and I know that, that uh, it's, it's a heavy, uh, Across the rasting Patrick administration to bear a heavy burden uh, to ask them to do more when they have done so much. Um, but there are, are so many people who don't have the privilege of being in this room. Uh, so many people in other countries whose fate is so intertwined with the decisions that we in Massachusetts make. And so many people who are not yet born whose fates are so intertwined with the decisions that we here in Massachusetts will make. Uh, and I'm sure that if they were here, they would have much stronger words than I would be able to muster today to get down on their knees and beg, to beg for their lives, for us to find the courage and to find the strength to do what seems hard because we know it's the right thing to do. So I want you to think of those people who cannot be here today because they're in a developing country with a dictatorship that's not even part of this problem because they're not polluting at all, or because they're gonna be born in 2050 or 2080 or 2300 and they're going to have to suffer because we are too lazy to get off our butts and make this thing work.